how to import products from different websites to your Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily import any product from different stores such as Amazon, AliExpress, Printify or eBay products from yeah, them to your uh, Shopify store. It is very simple. You have to uh, install an app and search for it which is called Robo like this. This is the app name. It is named Robo Product Importer. You can go ahead and search in Shopify App Store. The first thing before you go to the app, you have to set up your shop and make everything in order so you can uh, receive orders normally and then you can fulfill them with the, your staff, for example, or with your own if you don't have staff. Right here, we have the Shopify App Store and this is the app that we have. It is not a very precise app or an accurate app, but it has its own magic touch. Uh, I will show you at the end of the video another uh, app that has the same uh, process, but it is an unpaid app. Right here, this uh, app has a free trial available plan. Let's go and install it right now. It will give the app the permission to be installed and also they will give us a plugin for the navigator that will uh, help us do the task easily. Right here, as you can see, we have a free trial available and it has a monthly fee of $6 only. It is um, uh, very cheap for an app like this. Here we are going to install it with just one click right here and it will be showing on the app section on the store. Right here, uh, we have the, uh, you have to approve, for example, the the plan right here. I'm going, I'm going to approve it uh, since I am not going to uh, make the purchase for the subscription. I will only make the uh, demonstration for you. Right here, we have the uh, steps that you are going to do. Uh, with a little disclaimer, with, consist with constantly changing e-commerce sites, the product data imported might not be accurate. Verify data before importing. That means that you have to verify the description, the price, the photo before importing any product. I will go ahead to get the extension right here. It will take us to the uh, Chrome Web Store, but I am go I'm going to uh, use my uh, navigator, which is Microsoft Edge. I will go and get the extension right here. And I have imported it right here. I will go to this extension and then I will go to uh, show the toolbar right here of the app. As you can see here, you can click to add to Shopify. I will exit this uh, uh, page and this and also this. And for example, let's go ahead and import a, a product from Amazon to our store. Let's go, for example, with the this watch, for example. I will go ahead with this. These are some watches that I am going to import. I will click on the link. Then I will go to the app or the extension and click uh, to Shopify. Right here, it will be doing some magic to get the information. Then it will be uh, uh, copied to our store. I will click again then I will see. If the extension didn't work for you, uh, as in my case, you can go ahead and visit the uh, robo.talia-apps.com and see the account right here. You can go ahead to your store and search on the apps. I will go ahead to click on Robo products like this and it will take me to the uh, import page. If you the, don't work with the extension, you can click on import page right here and you will be redirected to this page. For example, let's go back right here and copy the link of the product. Then I will go to their page. I will click on import. They are fetching the data and they will give me the uh, conclusion of the description, price, images, and everything about this data. Right here, it has the basic info, which is the title right here, the product type. You can put a smartwatch, for example, like this and the vendor you can put whatever you want the condition you are going to for example put a home page you can put the tags and the price you have to check the price right here what is the price of this product i don't know yet 
but you can uh, make the product uh, directly right here for example I will go ahead and put it 69.99 you can make the comparison for example for $120 and you can put everything in order right here we have the description in this case it did not uh, copy the description maybe the product uh, product is not uh, very uh, uh, descriptive or the error that has disclaimed with the uh, developer uh, that can occur in the uh, operation right here if you want to uh, copy and paste it right here and then the images you can see the images you can also drag images to reorder or uh, go and add a lot of images right here if you want to add it to your Shopify store all you have to do is to click add to Shopify and we will wait a few seconds until it will be uh, uh, right here uh, updated I will go to my Shopify products then I will refresh the page and see if it appears right here as you can see it has appeared this is the smart watch for men and uh, uh, this is the same title as mentioned in Amazon it is very accurate we have the stock you can put the inventory as much as you want here you can modify whatever you want you have just to click on it and you can uh, for example uh, click like this and you will be redirected to the details that have been uh, added from the app right here I will go ahead and test it with another website which is Aliexpress I will go for example with this case uh, I will copy this link right here I will go to this uh, product page link section put the link and click on import let's see if we have this uh, everything in order right here we have the uh, price I will delete the price and let the description for example the uh, vendor Aliexpress you can put the condition right here let's see the price it didn't put a price for it let's go ahead and move this page 170 or 175 or 157 I will go ahead to put it as $10 compared to for example 19.99 this is the price the description let's see smarter shopping better living not the description that we need but you can go ahead and uh, select a description or specification I will go right here with the description from from Aliexpress it doesn't or it it doesn't yes it doesn't have any description you can put your own description for example the quality and you are good to go the images you can delete these images and put uh, the uh, whatever images you want you can directly download it from the website and add them and you are good to go let's go and put another example for example from Printify I will go ahead and select this product this is Printify.com copy the link also product page link import I will wait for a few seconds uh, basic info price for example like this description doesn't have a description you can go ahead and put the description like this and you are good to go the images it didn't not, it did not upload any images it didn't read the uh, website correctly but it is not that accurate you can go ahead and select another app or you can go with this and uh, make it work somehow right now I'm going to show you another app that we can use but is paid I will go ahead and search for copyfy copy like this and you will see on the App Store if you don't find the uh, app which is Copify copy product you all you have to do is you go to Google then you type Copify copy product and you will be redirected to this uh, research which is uh, open store Copify copy product and you can see here we have the overview right here the key feature and the subscription plans right here it is for 95 and it is not that expensive you can go ahead and install it on Shopify right here and you are good to go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope that you find this tutorial useful for you and hope to see you on the next video